Hello, my fellow Wastelanders. I am more to me for lack of we are back with Fallout 4 Challenge Builds. Today we are back in Overland Station, and I'm going to give you a my second day-by-day -day, uh, checkup, basically. Uh, for those of you who are on my Patreon, you have already got a sneak preview, but this is what we have got so far. Now, this is very minor decorations that I happen to have come across whenever I was looking for something else and I threw them out. But for the most part, there's no decorations out other than uh, carpeting and a couple of wall decorations while I was searching through specific signs. So there's a tiny bit of decorations and a couple of things like that, but mostly this is like the texturing and the completion of the building part. And uh, there might be a little bit more texturing going into it because I'm not quite satisfied with this. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure if I want to leave it like that. But this is a guard area. And, uh, and I'll do a, a fly cam view of the outside again because this side has changed just a little bit. But I think I'm finally happy with this, the little wagon. I, I'm thinking, I'm not sure. I don't know. It, it kind of looks like this guy's head is kind of caved in, so I'm not sure if it looks like he's actually operational, so I might change him. But the wagon has turned out decently well. I, I'm kind of okay with it. I might add a little bit more texturing to it. I haven't decided. Um, and over here is kind of like a guard shack. And I've only thrown, thrown in a couple of things. As you can see, it's just mostly it's like the next thing I want to do is the large item placement. So I wanted to go ahead and put the carpeting down so it would be easier. So I ran around with the different types of carpet and threw stuff down. And I think I actually managed to get over here as well. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I got the flooring down on that. And let me show you the other entrance. There we go. And... If you're wondering what this particular challenge build, there is a little bit of a hint. I should really give you a hint. I kind of don't want to say more than that, but that is the challenge. For those of you who understand what all that means, just in case I have any younger viewers. But for the actual final build, if you are a younger viewer, do not watch it because you will definitely know what it is. No looking around that. Not to mention when I get done with the... Uh, Large item placement, I'll be doing another one. Um, hopefully I can get done with that tonight. I don't know how long it's going to take me precisely. It might take more than one day, in which case there'll be another video in between. But uh, there's going to be a couple of little things giving you a hint as to what this particular build is supposed to be about. And the person who challenged me is dying to say it. <laughs> Which I cannot blame him, but I, I'm trying to keep it on the DL just a little bit. I want y'all to guess what it is. It will not be hard to uh, guess as the build progresses. I can promise you that. Um, I just don't want to come out and say it because it kind of takes away from the sophistication of this area. Uh, I say that sarcastically. Just a little bit. Alright, and I finally did flesh out this area instead of that. Oh, be quiet. No, I don't want to help you right now. I'm building. Leave me alone. And this is what I came up with. Instead of using the uh, wooden pieces, I went for scaffolding. It seemed to fit the area like this was a government building they were working on. And they repurposed the scaffolding to actually build this area. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, I am trying really hard to show you all of the signs that might give you a couple of hints as to what this area is going to be used for. Uh, there's some more of the texturing I've gotten done so far. I've tried to make this place look a little run down, but it's trying to be fixed up kind of look. Uh, please don't tell That's me you've got something for me to do it. too. Please move. Woman, I will shoot you out of the way. I also went back and put in the hallways and everything else like that for this area. Some carpeting. I changed out the staircase. I found this one. I didn't even know it was in there. And I really liked it, and I'll show you why in just a minute. Uh, I just realized that looks like there's a gap there. I'm going to have to plug that with something. But uh, each of the rooms has been made up. There's going to be some office-type areas, some other-type areas, and, well, we'll get to that. Uh, and here is some of the upstairs. And this staircase more or less just goes all the way up there for nothing, just because I like the way it looks going up into the skylights. And the way it looks from the skylights is pretty interesting, too. But I don't want to interrupt the light flow. Maybe I will put in the uh, flooring that you can see through. 
I haven't decided if I actually want this to be a thing. Like, maybe this was a staircase whenever it was a government building, but since the flooring has fallen out and they just really didn't have a use for it, so why waste the wood to put the flooring in? I have not decided on that one. And here's the upstairs. It's going to be kind of a relaxation area and uh, stuff. That's where I've been sleeping whenever I need to rest. And here's like a waiting area. I won't be saying waiting for what just yet. I know I told you I was going to tell you, and then I was like, uh, it'd be so much more interesting if I could just show you the finished product or, or if you're guessing along the way. That way you can put your guesses in the comments section and kind of be interactive a little bit. At the same time, I would love to ask people, you know, what you would like in there, though I have asked on the Patreon thing for their opinions on things that needs to be put in here. And I've got a list of things I'm going to try and put in here in places I haven't quite decided exactly where, but they will be in here somewhere. Uh, and here is an area over to the top. I have no idea what's going to be right here. I was actually thinking a pool type thing, but I'm not sure how that's going to work with an actual building underneath it. I've done the inside a roof building thing before. I mean, uh, inside a roof uh, spa before. And it turned out looking okay. And this might be a, a very good settlement for doing something like that. So I'm considering it right there. And this is just additional walkway to get around. And if you'll notice, there's only one area, area where you can actually get to this back spot. And that's through here. In order to be admitted to the rest of the town, you have to go through this particular room. In order to get past this room, you have to have a particular password. It is that exclusive. So there's you some hints. Uh, I meant to go down here and do a little bit more uh, showing you around down here. I put some rocks in. I've done some texturing on some stuff. I put a few plants in and this walkway. Uh, along with uh, pay no attention to those signs right there because it's not where they're going to be at. It's just I come across them and I, uh, I figured they needed to go in here somewhere. Just I don't have the exact spot yet, so I threw them out so I could find them easier. And uh, the fireplace is still left open and this area, I'm still not sure what this is going to be exactly. But I know the caravanners are still going to come through here, so that might be a caravan spot. Not to mention, I was informed that the... Uh, Oh my goodness, the thematic and practical has actually updated for a caravan section. A full section of caravan stuff. Now, he did admit to it being a little bit buggy, but of course, in order for everybody to help him fix the bugs, people have to use it. So I have gone back and downloaded it, and I will definitely be putting it into use. Though this, this particular build right here doesn't have use for a whole lot of caravan space. Though when I build a store, I still might use it. I have not decided yet. But I do have it downloaded, and I am extremely excited to use it. Um, let me see. What else? Oh, I need to go over here. No! Don't talk to me, woman. Uh, where's the door? I'm going to get lost in here just a second. Ah! Third person. I hate third person, but I'm trying to get used to it. I am so trying to get used to it. That's not it either. There we go. You know your settlement is big when you can't figure out how to get through it. But there's also this little back section. I'm not really sure what I'm going to put back here. I have a small idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but whenever I get to that point, I will be trying it out. And of course, it's going to get dark on me while I'm doing this. But anyway, uh, let me go over here and rest and I'll get the sun going back up again. And then I'll do the fly cam around so you can actually see not a whole lot on the outside has changed. Just a couple of looks of it. Yes, let's bounce at the thing. Okay, so through the magic of editing, I will see you in just a minute. All right, and we're back, and now I'm going to, as promised, toggle fly. Nope, oh, toggle fly cam. There you go. And let's get an above ground view of this thing. As I said, not a huge amount of differences, though all the texturing does definitely add to the way it looks. Let me see if I can move out here. I'm not great with the fly cam. I have noticed. Um, this is one thing I really couldn't show you very well because it would be slanted, but uh, the scaffolding over here goes all the way up and there's some texturing on it so it looks a little bit more supported because I don't feel like those particular things look hugely supported, especially if you have them double stacked. So there's that. And we do have, I finally have my uh, turrets actually sitting on the ground. They were flying before just to, to like protect the area while I was building. 
And I do have the walls finally filled in, though the roofing does need some help because there's a couple of spots that are missing their pieces. But I am not done just yet. Actually, I could have swore I filled that one in. Obviously not. It will be done. Eventually. It will be done. Alright, and this is the roofing area. All of that over there is actually patched in. There's no holes in that roof. Um, I did go back and add these skylights to add a little bit more light to my settlement because I don't know about anybody else, but when it comes to adding light to a settlement, there's nothing that drops the FPS quite the same way. And as I like to build more, I don't particularly like putting lights in a settlement unless I'm planning on keeping the build for the playthrough. And my playthrough builds stay rather small and functional. These are my... I can splurge on my stuff because I'm not planning on you know, keeping this settlement. So all the wood and the concrete and everything that I'm using up here, this save goes away and I go back to my other character who is still leveling and moving up. So I'll have a little bit more building materials and I wouldn't have used them here along with the weapons and everything. It keeps me from having to spend quite as much time looking for resources, though I am currently out of rubber again. So in order for me to finish up this, I'm going to have to go and find some more either I've probably got enough caps to go get a few more shipments, so that should work. But all in all, this is what I have got so far. I hope you like it. And for some of you who are actually paying attention to the signage, and I'll probably just go ahead and be very, very crass and show you the particular ones I'm talking about. That's a hint. And those are a hint. And I found this one today. I did not know that this was in here. Oh my god, it's like somebody knows me. Anyway, <laughs> I am hoping to do a series for something like that anyway. Uh, working on plans in progress. But let me space back out here. And there you go. That is the update for build day number two. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and say it's like probably two and a half because there's like I was fissing to show it and then I was like, oh, I still haven't put the turrets on the ground. So I went through and made things for the turrets. I won't say it's a half a day, it's more like a, a day and a quarter, but just trying to be fair here, it's a little bit more than a day work. So anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, queries, uh, you know, what all that, I, I'm going to stop doing that co questions, comments, queries. I don't think anybody else besides me, posers, understands that reference. Uh, if you grew up in my time period, you might know the movie I'm talking about. But anyway, that is it. Y'all have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful 5 o'clock somewhere. Bye-bye.